Hi everyone, greetings from National Skills Network. This is Madhuri and I'm very excited today because we are talking about a very important topic concerning manufacturing, which is gaining so much of importance in many uh, institutions. And the leader NTTF has been offering a very interesting course. So let's find out what this course is all about. And uh, we have with us today, uh, Mr. Rakesh Junnur, who's the head of this particular program and the program is called Post Diploma in Tool Design. So if you have heard about it, I'm happy that, you know, we are here with an expert you can where, from whom you can get more details. In case you haven't heard about it, for all the students and whoever is interested, today we are going to share a lot of details about this program and I'm sure it's going to be beneficial to each one of you. So welcome to this uh, talk, Mr. Rakesh. Thank you. Um, yes. Thank you. Uh, so we are very excited, uh, you know, to feature this particular uh, conversation because this is like a very specialized kind of a program, right? Uh, it is in manufacturing and yes. tool design. And uh, it is talking about uh, something where students can go deeper into the uh, various aspects of tool design and learn hands-on, which is absolutely important. That is a lot of practical training. So can you tell us more about this post-diploma in tool design and maybe what are the key features of the program? Uh, thank you very much, ma'am, for inviting me. And uh, it's an immense pleasure talking to you. Like the National Skill Network, I also hear a lot of your conversation. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, coming down to NTTF, uh, where from past 20 plus years, we are offering this post-diploma uh, courses in the various places. Uh, mainly, actually, when I'm speaking this post-diploma in tool design, we offer this course at Tanisheri, that's in Kerala, and it's in Vellur in Tamil Nadu. We also offer in like Chennai, like recently we have started there. Okay. And in Maharashtra, we offer in Pune and it's also in uh, uh, Murubad and in Gannavaram. And also in Bangalore, we offer in Pinya and Electronic City. They will run this course. Actually, it's a one year course what we run there, we run for all of us. Okay. Yeah, in Bangalore, it's Electronic City and the Pinya. Yeah. And uh, when it comes to Kalisheri, it's in Kerala. Kerala. And in Gandhavaram, that comes into Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh. And, and in Tamil Nadu, we run this one with uh, 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 this one, uh, uh, Chennai and as well as Vello. Uh, okay. And uh, as well as we have this one in uh, Gandhavaram, Andhra. Yeah. So there are a lot of centers uh, which is offering this program. And uh, those who are interested can either join that center if it is close to their places or try a center which is close where they can, you know, probably go and stay and take up this program. So can you please tell us uh, the important aspects like what is this program all about and what is it that the students can expect from this program? Okay. Uh, well, actually, if I speak about the eligibility, people who can have aspirants for this, mm -hmm. or with a diploma in mechanical, mm -hmm. or diploma in automobile, or diploma in manufacturing engineering, or diploma in production engineering, or diploma in tool engineering, are most suitable for this. Okay. And for those people, uh, they are going to learn here. Something what I want to say, like much interesting it is going to be. If you see the automobile, there is a car, there is a bonnet or there is a side body. Right. Right. So that's made up of a sheet metal. Mm -hmm. So how the designing is made the, for the sheet metal, I speak about a press tools design. Mm -hmm. And in the car, you see the bumper and a lot of plastic items. Or I also have a pen in my hand. So this is made with a plastic. So how do we make a mold design for this? And as well as when we go for the manufacturing aspect, uh, we need a work folding devices, like a jigs and a fixture design. And ultimately to the measure, like a precision measuring, we have a gauge. So these are the major curriculum what we covered in this particular course. And when it comes to the relevancy, along with this, we also cover like engineering drawing because the GDA becomes a much more important, the geometric dimensioning and the tolerancing, which becomes a much more relevant. And along with that, we cover like the metrology and the quality control because they should know what is available in a much more the inspection methodology for a precisions. Okay. And also we cover up here about a material selection, which becomes a much important for the tools team in the manufacturing industry. 
and something is we cover up like a cad and a cam both together okay so when it comes to the cad we speak here of from the autodesk they will be working on like autocad and again from the autodesk where they learn and their hands on work with the fusion 360 software and they will be working with the siemens nx so these are the three software what to cover for the cad and when it comes to the CAM, they work on the master CAM. Oh, okay. So this is what the software they are going to learn. This is a quick outcome on the, the learning of the this course month. Okay. So many yeah uh, design tools you mentioned just now. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what I understand is that this is a very uh, engaging and rich program for those who are interested in designing. Like you just gave us an automotive example. It could be metal or plastic. Uh, but at the same time, uh, I think we should also uh, talk about, you know, who are the students or people for whom this program will be interesting? What could be their backgrounds? Uh, anything like a diploma in mechanical and a relevant background, those people are much suitable. But one thing what it adds are people who are uh, into like the skill development, mm -hmm. who have much uh, knowledge towards the skill development, where they will be learning like analytical and a problem solving skills. Okay. So, I mean, the designing that becomes a much uh, uh, necessary and the precision manufacturing and the detailing that's what we cover over here. And the people who enter uh, is with the uh, technical strong knowledge who has it. Uh, they, the, those people are much relevant what I find here. For the manufacturing who has an interest towards like automobile manufacturing, or uh, electronics manufacturing, like the pictures and all. Uh, those people are most suitable for this. So is it like a diploma from a polytechnic or is it, uh, in, you know, what would be the eligibility? Uh, uh, it's any other like a three years of diploma. Okay, so it's a polytechnic diploma basically. Yeah, yeah absolutely ma'am. Yeah, or uh, the course which is offered by NTTF, your own diploma courses, right? From so, there also. NTTF, we offered uh, like a diploma in tool engineering. Yeah. Tool manufacturing. And in fact, also the people I have with me with the same relevant diploma. So those people are also must, much welcome. So a diploma is the basic entry point for this. Yeah, yeah. And like you said, they also also should have interest and also like analytical skills and all these skills. Also, if they are able to display, yeah. probably they would be doing very well. Um, much successful, if I want to say. Yeah, because I think design is so much about analysis, isn't yeah. it, ultimately? Yeah. And finding a solution uh, through analysis. Yeah. Uh, so... Um, now let's assume that, uh, you know, these are the uh, most, uh, you know, likely students and suitable for this program. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it that they can expect and what would be the benefits for them when they do this program? Uh, one is they will be going with like a hands-on training. Uh -huh. Practical exposure they are going to have here. Yeah. That comes like the two to practice they are going to see. Mm -hmm. Manufacturing process, if I'm not wrong, absolutely the two to practice. And in the sequence, there's a process planning, like how the process is being done for the manufacturing. Mm -hmm. And as well as with the CAD and the CAM, those are the software people who they will be learning with the hands-on. And they will also have an opportunity with the industrial expert, where we have a large alumni network with our own self. Mm -hmm. So they will have an industrial visit the people can learn about. And as well as like a, a tech talks, uh, like we speak about like entrepreneurs uh, talks will be there from our own alumni. Yeah. We will think what they are going to learn. And as well as they will have like a practical assignment where they can much explore themselves, like a designing uh, the, the tools and all. Uh, these are the things what they're going to much more add on here. Yeah, so this is uh, like the practical component which you just mentioned. I think the weightage to the practical is definitely much higher, right, in this? Uh, like 65% would have like a practical and 35% is like a theory. Mm -hmm. A practical is nothing but uh, they sit in front of the computer and they design it. Yeah. That's what it's going to be. Yeah. So, but then the field visit is like to, uh, for example, would it be like a manufacturing uh, unit where they get to go and experience? Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. the way the mouth manufacturing is there or where there is a pestle manufacturing or there is some assembly line, such industry will take them around. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. So that they can have actually like uh, the industrial feel about it. Yeah. So first hand experience of the industry, which is, yeah. you know, yes. quite useful for them to um, help them, you know, understand it better. Yeah. So besides this, uh, is there any important point or something which is very unique about this program? Uh, having this uh, uh, designing of the press tool, yeah. if they're going to learn life, it means they should understand how the sheet metal, when I was telling the card body, yeah. how any sequence has been done to get that shape and a size. Hmm. They are going to learn. We speak about like a strip layout design, material selection. Hmm. Those are the aspects they learn there. And when it comes to the mouth, they speak about like the flow analysis will come there and the drafting they learn, and especially the design for manufacturing, what they're going to learn out of it. And when it comes to the gauging, uh, they should understand what's the precision. So for the precision, they will also understand about how the measuring has been done. These are the things what becomes like a key selling point for this. And as well as many important, one more important point is like a problem solving and innovation becomes a very critical for the designer. Right. Okay. Yeah, because they should have a creative solution when they are designing. Hmm. They should have a troubleshooting and as well as a optimizing the process. Hmm. These are the things they are going to learn out of this. So, uh, yeah. So, besides the using all these softwares, the CAD CAM and all that you mentioned, I think it is also the training which they undergo in terms of cognitive processes, right? Yeah. Like analysis and uh, coming up with creative solutions. I think that's also a very important part of the uh, training which happens in this program yes ma'am yeah. yeah yeah and uh, now i have to ask you about this the most important which everybody would want to know is career opportunities <laughs> so when they do a program like this uh, what would be uh, the benefits in terms of careers uh, the people who are aspiring towards like a tool design yeah. uh, the automotives or the aerospace or like electronics or the consumer goods or the heavy machineries in mm -hmm. the area they are going to enter inside and when it comes to like a CAD engineer they can enter like it means like they have to do like the designing of the models and assembly okay and it can be also like a CAD engineer where they generate a tool path for the cnc uh, or any of the program like any of the tool manufacturing companies they can enter inside and it can be also in like research and development in the design because my own boys are working with the tool the transmission they are into like R and D and design, okay. and it can be like yes, absolutely. There is an entrepreneurship which they can enter inside. They can have their own design center and they can run it. That's how they can go over. And other one is they can go for a technical sales. Uh, it means like for the manufacturing of this press tool and model, I have some of the standard component. Okay. So also they can enter like like a technical sales. So these are the much relevant area where they can enter inside. Uh, just to name few companies, ITW, that's in Pune, uh -huh. and Dutra Machine uh, Systems and the Tool Manufacturing, Renata Precision, Dutra Transmission, and a Godrej and Boys, they are into like the aerospace and the defense. And there is a Planet for Tools, and uh, there is a Toolcraft uh, a company, and a SAB Engineering, and a Unominda. So these are the most of the company where my boys are working for the current year. Okay, that's really great and uh, very interesting names and quite impressive also the way they got their uh, you know, opportunities to start working and build their career. So as I understand, uh, talking to you, this is a kind of an advanced program, right, in tool yes. design, right, yeah. and uh, the focus on research was something also which was very interesting uh, yeah. because they get into this R&D and design also happens to be a part of that. So uh, to summarize, I think uh, what I would uh, like to just put, I mean, highlight is this is giving an opportunity for students uh, to explore design in manufacturing and also at the same time, you know, hone their skills, I would say, uh, because it's just a one year program, right? And uh, when they complete this one year, it's not just the career, but as they hone their skills, they can go up higher and learn more while working probably. And it's also helping them grow in their career, like you just mentioned about the companies, the kind of companies where they get their uh, jobs. Yeah. So uh, I think this is really a, a very useful uh, kind of a course for a lot of people. Uh, if they want to try, I think they should al always reach out to NTTF and uh, 
apply for the program. So would you want to give any message to the students before we close this conversation? Uh, yeah, I think so. The generation, what we have is a Zoomer generation. People <laughs> <laughs> who have gone with a mobile. So <laughs> instant and they are much creative also, the generation. Yes. So I welcome all of those people to have a happy learning and like a holistic training what we have at NTTR. Okay. Thank you. That was a very nice, sweet and short message. I'm sure uh, many students would uh, be interested to know more and uh, we would definitely like to share more details. You can reach out to us or uh, reach out to NTTF through their website. Thank you so much, Mr. Rakesh. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. It was a nice conversation with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.